We are so busy at night. Um, actually, all the action happens at night. This is the ultra-competitive and deeply rewarding world of breeding, the next generation of Kentucky's finest. Welcome to Full Play. A thoroughbred foal's shaky start with the help of Kentucky's best. Woo! Yes! You got it! Yeah. That's the goal every night at Haggard Equine Medical Institute in Lexington, Kentucky. Best few steps. Ensuring these prized thoroughbreds get their best possible care from their first moment of life. At the center of it all on this night, Dr. Rana Bozorgmanesh. I often question when I'm here in the middle of the night why I chose a profession that I'm most of the action happens at night, um, but it's definitely worth it, you know. It's like no other, honestly. She's been at the center of several breeding seasons all over the world, when when she had a chance to work at Haggard, in the middle of the world's best horse farms here in Kentucky, the decision was the easiest of her career. It's amazing, honestly, like the team here, from the technicians to our office staff to, you know, the doctors here, it's, it's a really talented, you know, the best team you'll find anywhere. So you're constantly learning every day, um, and I think it's, it's a great place to work. Every spring, when foals are born all across the bluegrass, the hospital gets busy, especially at night. It's during these nighttime hours when horses naturally give birth, a natural instinct of survival for both the mother and the baby. Basically, horses are prey animals. They foal at night so that it's dark. It's kind of more safe so that any predatory species are less likely to see them and, and find the foal. They're born ready to go, and that means that within a couple of hours, if a predator comes along, they can escape. While these horses don't have to worry about being hunted, their owners do worry about their health and well-being. Sorry, we may have an emergency. Hello? Hey. OK. OK. OK, thanks. Man. There's a three-week-old foal coming that's not nursing and is lethargic. Ultrasounds, IV fluids, a modern on-site laboratory. This place has just about everything a human hospital has to handle an emergency that walks in. Basically, you know, you kind of start putting the pieces of the puzzle together and then we'll see what the blood work looks like if that supports that kind of presumption. The foal's pretty exhausted. You know, she's been up a couple times now. It's hard work for a newborn, but I'd expect her to probably be starting to nurse in the next kind of 20 minutes when she next gets up. For a normal foaling, we've got the one, two, three ball. Within one hour, the foal's meant to stand. Within two hours, the foal's meant to nurse from the mare. Um, and within three hours, the mare should pass her placenta. So in this case, we haven't quite got the nursing down yet. So um, sometimes they need a little bit of help and they've got a lot to focus on, you know, when they just learnt to stood, they just learnt to walk, and then they're trying to figure out how to nurse as well, so sometimes it takes them a little bit longer. Now we'll um, try and help her to nurse, so we get our number two. Case after case comes through the doors, every case different, and Dr. Rana and her staff must stay positive through it all. These mares are tough and go through a lot, and you can lose hope. But one of my mentors always taught me, horses live to humble you every day, so you shouldn't lose hope, and, and they'll often pull through when you don't expect it. Standing by, ready to care for the world's premier racehorses, no matter the hour or the day. The staff here has dedicated their lives to this, and they wouldn't have it any other way.